What up, people? It's your man, D Cannon 09, man. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hit me up. Um, I just wanted to give y'all a little background on how I started on the drums. Uh, um, first of all, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, uh, born and raised in the Roseland area. Um, I got introduced to the drums maybe about four or five, probably younger than that, honestly, because my, um, my older brother played. My older brother, DeRay, played. Shout out to him. He's an awesome drummer. Um, he played at a church called Holy Spiritual Temple um, till he was about 18. Then when he hit 18, he moved on to bigger and better, started doing his thing. And uh, they needed a drummer for a, uh, a rehearsal. I was about seven. I had seen him play before, but me personally, I had never played before. So I'm seven years old. I'm just like doing it because my auntie was like, do you want to play the drums? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. So um, I got on there, and uh, I haven't looked back since, but that was my introduction to it. Uh, I played there for maybe seven, eight years. Uh, and then when I was about 14, we moved uh, to a different church, uh, Hazelcrest Assembly in uh, Country Club Hills. Um, and there is where I really... Um, I guess you could say honed my craft uh, as far as like the basics and just having a, um, a more mature approach to the drums and not just really wanting to chop all day. But being more sensitive to the music, that's kind of where I did that. Now, I was like I said, I was about 14 when I started there, 14 or 15, one of them. And um, I played there till I was about 25. Uh, so during that time, like I said, it kind of helped me to become more seasoned because this was an apostolic church and uh, I had an opportunity to play at some huge events, um, and then, you know, just some small churches all over the city. Uh, but it helped me a lot. It helped me to grow a lot. Um, like I said, it helped me to mature a lot as far as my drumming goes. Um, and then, I, like I said, I played there till I was about 25. So at 25, uh, a situation that happened, and I got sat down off the drums. They sat me down, y'all. But uh, that's actually when I had just up and uh, went on and started doing my own thing. And I left from that church. And uh, when I left from that church, I actually put the sticks down for about three to four years. Um, it was a while I hadn't played, so you know I was very rusty. Still, still had the, the 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 love for the music, you know. But as far as me playing the drums, I really kind of gave up on it. You know what I mean? It was just kind of like, well, I guess that's that. You know, I, I never thought I would play again. And uh, my uncle called me one day and asked me if I can come and uh, you know get his church a a shot. It was a paying gig um, in Chicago, back in the city. Uh, so I'm like, yeah, whatever, that's cool. And uh, that helped me to, um, I really became sensitive to the music then. Because, um, I mean, when I practice, I don't have all of the chops, but I, I got a couple moves, and you know, those moves was reserved, very reserved. I pull those out every now and again, but for the most part, I just played the music. I just played what was there, what was there in front of me, and uh, that's still, that's how I am to this day. Uh, I kind of just play the music. Uh, if I, if I, if I'm practicing and I can say, uh, okay, well, that's a nice spot where I can kind of open up there a little bit, you know, but I, I want to make sure that I'm that I'm doing the music right before anything because I don't want to be, um, I, I've never been a, a show off when it comes to the drums. So I always wanted to make sure that I treated the music with respect and I dealt with the music first because I need that to sound good. 
Um, so that's what that church um, kind of showed me because it was a small church. So I didn't want to be over the top, you know what I mean? So I kept it very simple and it helped me a lot. It helped me to grow as a drummer and mature as a drummer. And uh, that brings us to present day where I'm playing at uh, Woodlands Community uh, Church in Homewood. Um, now I'm just more of a, I'm just very, I'm very uh, picky on what I play and how I play it, how I sound. Is everything even? Is my tempo right? Um, I'm just more in tune with the, the elements of the music that's going on around me. I want to make sure that everything sounds good and even. And you know, if I if I find a little spot somewhere where I can open up, then by all means, I, I will. I'll open them up a little bit, you know, go a little big, you know what I mean? Put some little chops in there, but just uh, making sure that everything sounds good. And um, I just, I like my growth. I'm just ready to, you know, step it up to another level because, um, you know, I've been doing this for a while and I'm just ready for it to start working for me. So that's why I got things like this camera, um, you know, my um, my tripod and uh, I'm just really finna start going crazy and investing in myself as far as hardware goes um, and just doing everything that I need to do to set myself up for success. So I just wanted to give you all just a little background on how I how I got started playing the drums and uh, where I'm at with it now. Chops, uh, some people call them gospel chops and you know all of these type of things but at the end of the day they are nothing more than just rudiments if you learn your rudiments and it's a, it's a lot of rudiments uh, but if you just learn just me preferably I like single stroke roll to practice and I like uh, paradiddles um, I like to practice them at home on the pad but then once I get uh, to church and I get to my uh, to the drum set then I'm able to kind of move it around and, and, you know, make it just just have different sounds and different. It comes off more effective when you're able to move it around. It has a different effect, should I say, when you move it around the kick, you know what I mean? And you uh, just play around with it and just come up with just different sounds. You never know where you might end when it comes to that type of stuff. But uh, that's the only thing I just wanted to come on and just tell you all just to please. I'm on this too. I'm saying this for myself as well. Please, we have to practice these rudiments, man. Everybody asking the questions, how do you get faster? Uh, how do you uh, be more effective? How do you play stronger? You know what I mean? And be able to keep up with the strongness. You know what I'm saying? And not the strongness, but, you know, be able to play strong throughout a whole song. You know, and that's nothing more than just rudiments. So, I'm about to go crazy, and I hope that you all do the same with these rudiments. And, uh... We're going to take it back and try to be more technically sound, man. Because I see a lot of guys out here and they have, like, all of the chops. But then, like, most of the time, like like me, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just feeling, you know what I mean? I'm kind of just feeling what I want to do. But I want to be able to, to play a lick and know exactly what I just did. I want to know that I went right, left, right, left, kick, kick right left left right right left left right kick i want to be able to know that i did all of that like on purpose intentionally i did that move so that's my that's my next phase of uh of uh drumming that's my next level that's exactly what i'm finna work on and um that's what we have with it man all right y'all peace